welcome to another video as you can see here i have my jk boots made in spokane washington these boots cost around 600 dollars and these boots are from from pranks and these costs $350. I have worn the Franks more than my JK boots. Um, not a specific reason actually, but uh, just been that way. These boots are much stiffer in the uppers here than the franks the leather is uh, softer and the uh, thickness is uh, almost similar i i guess it looks like it the main reason these, these boots cost $350 is that um, you have when you roll out the hide you get uh, some por portions of the hide that is uh, flawless which goes to the more expensive boots and you have like these boots as you can see here it's kind of I, I, I'm not sure if it's a stretch mark or something like that and normally they don't use that leather to make boots but uh, now they do and they can lower the price and as you can see the rest of the boot is just perfect the stitching the sole and the leather is a little little bit softer I saw a video that uh, Frank explained why these boots cost less and that uh, was just mainly because they use the leather maybe that's closer to the neck of the cow and that they may have this you can see stretch marks But it uh, has nothing to say about the quality of the boot. It's, it's really, really good. These are built on the 55 last. I uh, noticed that my left foot particularly hurts more back here than my right foot. And... Um, when I started to wear them, it almost felt like it was something wrong with the boot. But uh, after a week or so, it was uh, much, much better. So it takes time for the footbed to uh, mold to your foot and so on. And these are the JK boots. These are my first P and W boots, and the uh, craftsmanship here is excellent. They look really, really good. You also can see uh, some marks here by the. It's a really, really high quality boot, that's for sure. Um, uh, a thing that, that's different, as you can see here, it's the uh, tongue. This one is much thicker and stiffer than the JK boots. This almost feel like, uh, I don't know, something you can find in uh, 
a sofa or something like that. I'm not sure, but uh, it's really, really soft. But JK boots know what they are doing, so I guess uh, the quality is, uh, is good on that also. So I don't think that would be a problem. And you can see this stitch down here. It's perfect. Cool boots. You can see the toe box is a bit different from the boots. As you can see, it's a, a JK boots is a little bit wider than the Franks. I uh, on my left foot, I can feel a little bit rubbing from a big toe around here, but. Uh, that's my feet, I'm nothing wrong with the boots. They are holding up pretty good. I haven't cleaned or conditioned them anything. I don't need to. The one thing with the Frank's boots is that it seems like um, this false tongue is uh, much stiffer than this. It's really, really soft compared to this one. But, um, and the uh, one tongue is, uh, slides over to the one side a lot. So you can see here, it slides over to the left of the boot, but uh, it's not a problem, not at all. And I ordered when I got my Nyx boots, I ordered with a extra pair of kilties that's uh, much stiffer and thicker than these ones. And the JK boots, it's much thicker, you see, and a lot more stiff than the kilties on the Frank boots. Yeah, if you have any questions. Please leave a comment. I'm not an expert on anything. I just like boots and uh, yeah, that's about it. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.